I didn't grow up in a Christian home, so encountering God wasn't something I'd ever experienced until more recent years. I did, however, grow up singing. That was my whole life, and I had really big dreams. As I got older and became an adult, I was working as a singer and striving in the entertainment industry. Um, I still had big dreams, but I sometimes felt like something was missing. I was definitely searching, and it wasn't until I met uh, the man who's now my husband and he took me to church that I learned just what was missing. Since inviting God into my heart and getting baptized, it's been a journey of discovering who God is and who I am in Him. And that started a slow uh, surrendering of old identities and, and dreams. Back when my walk was still relatively new, I started to sing worship music at church, but I honestly didn't really know what it meant yet to genuinely worship and why it was such an important part of my relationship with God. I knew it wasn't a performance and that it wasn't about me, but performing was all I'd known up to that point. So it took some time to understand how to encounter God. So as I continued to serve, the singer of worship music started to die away. Performance was replaced with vulnerability, um, awe, trust, hope and healing, knowledge of who God is, and just a sincere desire to honor Him by using the gift He's given me to serve. Now I'm not just singing another song, I'm offering up my heart. In my years as a follower of Christ, what I've grown to discover through God's transformation of my heart and who I continue to grow into as a woman of faith and a worshiper of Jesus is that worship is a gift in which I'm able to express to God just how much I love Him, how thankful I am for Him, for everything He's done for me, including all those closed doors along my path. Um, his protection over me, His forgiveness, and it's not by any power that I have, but with just a purity and surrendering of my heart, holding nothing back, that's when I encounter God, and I get to experience His freedom and His peace. And it's not just on Sundays or even only through music. It's in the everyday tasks when my mind is spinning a loop of negativity um, that I'm just doing and doing that I can stop and I can invite Him into those moments. Do I always? No, but I. the more I do, the more peace and gratitude I experience. I do sometimes find myself hiding from an encounter in the busyness of work and family and that to-do list, and I know that God patiently waits for me. But as I learn to make room and keep a habit of constant communication with Him and pouring out to Him, I'm inviting an encounter as an active participant in my relationship with Him. I'm still a professional singer today, and I, I truly am thankful that I get to do what I do. But every time I come back to worship, it feels like I'm coming home. And the emotion that I feel comes from just the immense gratitude that I have. Jesus died on the cross for me, and the gravity of that truth just wrecks me. So I let the tears flow out of a heart that's been softened and continues to be transformed by Him, and worship gives me a voice to just everything that's stored up in my heart for Him. It creates a space for me to experience and encounter God, but only when I give my whole heart. I know that encountering God doesn't have to happen on a mountaintop or just be this one-time dramatic experience. It's the ongoing leading of the Holy Spirit in my life. Jeremiah 29, 13 says, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. And that's truly something that I strive for. That's my new striving. 
every day. So read the Bible with expectation, worship, pray, serve. All of these things are opportunities to encounter God.